Ladies and gentlemen, we have to ask ourselves, how is it that the U.S. and Russia is suddenly in a Cold War style showdown? One's pushing one, the other's pushing back, the other one's threatening this, this one's threatening that. Are we headed back towards the Cold War era? Nobody knows. And then on the other side of the card, we have Iran. You know, then you have like, you have North Korea that, you know, that little guy over there, he's just threatening everything. And, you know, he wants to threaten nuclear war to, towards America. It just doesn't make any sense, folks. It doesn't make sense what's going on in, in this world. You know, I mean, everybody's dealing with the whole Charlie Victor 19 thing with all the shortages, with the whole nine yards. I personally think that a lot of these countries are watching and seeing what's going on here. They're seeing that the United States is down. They're seeing that the government is not working together. They're seeing a hole that they're gonna try to slide into to try to get away with whatever they want to do, with whatever their agendas and stuff are. It's a very, very sad thing that's taking place right now. And it makes yourself, as a prepper, ask, are we headed down that road again like we were back in the 50s? I don't know if you all know or not, if any of you follow any of this kind of stuff, but the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists just released the other day, the updated Doomsday Clock. Now, the Doomsday Clock is compelled of a few things, all right? It's a, a nuclear risk. It's climate change. It is disruptive technology. And this year they added in Charlie Victor 19 just because of what it is doing to the whole world it's not just one country it's not centralized it's the whole world that's dealing with that problem the whole world is also dealing with the nuclear risk and the whole world is also dealing with the climate change the disruptive technology is a whole nother situation and you're probably asking why am i doing a video on this because this is what is going on folks you have Russia that is, has hundreds of thousands of troops on the Ukraine border. And they're threatening to invade. You have an American president that doesn't have a stiff backbone. You have North Korea that has bluntly stated that because of sanctions and all this other stuff that, you know, he would use nuclear against the United States. And you have Iran that would just love to destroy us however they possibly could, point blank. You know, back in the 50s, um, Eisenhower, I think it was in 55, 1955, Eisenhower's administration, they put together this thing called Grandma's Pantry. And this is what they called it. It was Grandma's Pantry. And what that was supposed to be was, was so that people would start to prep, to be prepared in case of nuclear war. That's what it was all about during the Cold War. You know, everybody had basements or they had bomb shelters or they, you know, they went to a bomb shelter, whatever the case may be. It was so that the American people were prepared in their own way because the government knew that they had no way to take care of all these people and feed them and give them fresh water and everything else. So they wanted them to do it on their own. And a few different um, topics that came out of that was, you know, they designed the government, they designed this biscuit. And this biscuit was, I, from what I've read, 
was not good at all. And this biscuit was, it was high in protein, but over time they found that it really lacked in flavor, taste, smell. I mean, all the, all the check marks it got and it was all wrong. They ended up trashing that whole thing. They did donate quite a bit of it to other countries that were going through rough times, through natural disasters or floods or whatever. Um, but most of it did end up in the dump. So in a long story short, the biggest thing was is they wanted people to be prepared themselves. They wanted families to be prepared themselves. And they also wanted to make sure that, you know, if something happened, people were prepared. Now, in going along with that, the government really doesn't have a plan for us. The government doesn't have a plan for us American people. You know, they have all their nice big bunkers. You know, they have the bunkers in Pennsylvania. They have Iron Mountain. They have NORAD. They have all these different huge military style bunkers for all the top officials and everything else. They can house thousands of people in these places. They can feed thousands of people in these places. So where does that leave us in this whole equation of what would happen? We're on our own, folks. We're on our own, so we have to be prepared. Now, are we preparing for a nuclear war? Well, God only knows, I guess. I'm not sitting here telling you it's going to happen tomorrow, but with the way things are going and talk about trying to kick a dog when it's down, you know, I think that's what they're trying to do. These countries are pushing their buttons and they're pushing, they want to see how far they can go, how they're like little kids, you know, they're going to push you as far as they can and they want to see where the stopping point is or the breaking point is. And this way here, then they can pull back a little bit at that point and try to come up with a different strategy to get whatever their agenda is. But in meantime, the government has no plans to take care of all of us. If something like that did take place today. So the question stands, are you prepared? Are you prepared as much as you possibly could be prepared in a nuclear type ordeal. And Lord only knows, is it something that um, most people would even want to live through? Who knows? The main reason that I am making this video is to bring you aware of what is going on. The doomsday clock was set at 100 seconds. That's pretty doggone close to midnight, folks. And this is from a group of highly intelligent scientists and these type of people that really study this to make these decisions. It's not like they just kind of pull a number out of their hat. All these different things go into that equation so that they can make an honest and the most well-predicted time frame for the clock. So we need to do our part, and our part is just being prepared for whatever comes our way, because we just don't know. It's just another piece of the puzzle. I'm just trying to bring you the information. You do with it whatever you wish to do with it. I'm not trying to fear monger anybody. I want you to be aware of what is going on. You can go online, you can turn on your TV, you can do whatever you want. But if you go on, you can find the website for the Doomsday Clock. You can go on and search, you know, Russia with the whole Cold War scenario. It's all right there, because that's what I did. North Korea, you can see what's going on with that little guy. How he is uh, threatening to bomb us. And Iran, well, we've known that for years. I mean, that's nothing new. Point is, folks, 
get yourself prepared now. Because Lord only knows what tomorrow will bring. It's better to be safe than sorry. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I want everybody to stay safe, stay prepped. Keep your eye on the ball. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thank mm -hmm. you.